Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We have a guest standing by, of course, as we have the first major conversation this morning. Our players in the nation's aviation industry have called on the federal government to prioritize, as a matter of urgency, the refining of Jet A1 fuel, also known as aviation fuel, to uh, stem the rise of uh, price of the product, or in the rise, to stem the rise of the product, rather. Um, the rise of the price of the product. The government was also asked to uh, provide special funding to the aviation industry in order to address the issues of foreign exchange and other uh, foreign exchange rather and other challenges facing organizations in the sector. I was speaking yesterday or recently at the opening of the 51st annual general meeting and conference organized by the Nigerian Air Traffic Controllers Association, NATCA, uh, organized with the theme energy crisis and the aviation industry, a quest for sustainable growth in Ibadan. The Oyo State Capital chairman of the occasion, Professor Anthony Kila, and lamented the failure of government to refine Jet A1, which he says is affecting the economy. Killer insisted that the industry should be seen as an essential infrastructure by the government, adding that aviation should not be treated as elitist. Now, these indeed are some interesting ideas for the aviation sector and its relationship with the energy sector, but are these what the nation needs? Joining us now to provide analysis of this, uh, Olumide Ohunayo is assistant uh, uh, Secretary General of Aviation Safety Roundtable Initiative. Olubide, thank you very much for your time. Um, starting off, can Nigeria refine Jet A1? As of today, we cannot refine Jet A1. One, but but we, we can in future. We have so many modular refineries in Nigeria that have not been supplied uh, by crude oil and they need it to refine. So if this is done, so you would have, you would have, would be able to refine. Again, the government plan is to wait for the then go to refinery and the uh, and the revamping of the Potakot Potakot and uh, and Kaduna refinery. Yeah, so that's that's the government plan. Well, so you said that we can't refine, uh, you know, Jet A1. Why can't we refine Jet A1? What we, as of today, we do not have the facility to do, to do the refining in the country. But we have some modular refineries that have been lying trains who are actually waiting, waiting for, uh, for crude oil supplies. Those, those are, are people that can help us at the moment. So, or to wait the first of them crude oil, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm afraid we will not be able to refine. So, um, are you saying that it's the type of refinery that we have right now, or is the fact that we can't really refine them? Because it sounds like that's almost impossible. Uh, so, what happens we to the have, turnaround we maintenance? We don't have any refinery at the moment. Excuse me? We don't have any refinery at the moment. But I'm quite willing to put you in building one for exclusively for addition fuel. Hmm. Uh, they are supposed to manage with the maintenance and repair of the building and their airlines. All right. So is, is this called, therefore, by the uh, uh, members of the uh, this particular event, talking about the Nigerian Air Controllers uh, Association, you know, is this called yeah. by the Nigerian Air Controllers Association to um, the federal government to prioritize uh, a refining of Jet A1 misplaced? Or do you think they are saying, you know what, uh, look at a way of, of, of fixing the refining infrastructure in the country and then prioritizing Jet A1 ahead of others, because these are also aviation professionals like you are. No, it's not a misplaced call. The call is appropriate. If we need to bring down the cost of aviation flow, if we need to bring down the cost of aviation and ensure that the airlines fly and it's at uh, yes, uh, uh, for passengers to come down, then we need to refine so that the, 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 the original flight can be cheaper. All right. I, I, is it, would you say, because um, uh, the gentleman, we, we cited Professor Antonio Kila, who uh, lamented the failure of the government to refine Jet A1, you know, as uh, uh, having a big effect on the economy. He's also insisting that the industry should be seen as essential infrastructure uh, by the government. Do you think government is not really seeing the aviation industry as being essential, uh, as the gentleman is saying? He's saying that they're treating it as, as elitist, while it's, while it's actually essential and not elitist. Do you think that's really how the government is viewing I, I this? I, if, 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 if we are discussing the aviation work, I don't think aviation is an installation. There's been a problem uh, uh, generally with the uh, fuel supply in the country. The, the, the aviation fuel is not subsidized, it's deregulated. So, it's, uh, so anybody that refines will make profit. 
So, so I think it's a general problem, problem with the systemic, systemic problem that has affected all the, the first supply, both, both, both addition, the addition for diesel, uh, 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 petroleum payments. No, I mean, so uh, if we look back, you know, prior to the 90s, uh, the refineries actually functioned, you know, to its maximal capacity. They were functioning the standard. They, they, they were able to meet up with uh, local supplies and you have extra products that was exported. So what yeah. has actually yeah. changed now? Uh, what's really the issue? Yeah, the issue right now is the Russian war war has made the, 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 the scarcity the market. Also, the core uh, uh, the, the, the poor play of the Naira to the, uh, to the other currencies. And because we do not refine, we have to import. So as we are importing, uh, we have a bad currency and price of, has gone up in the market. So it has affected the, the, the price of the uh, uh, A1. And you also know it is not subsidized, it's regulated. So we pay the market rate. Do you, but do you think, I mean, quickly, do you think that this is very valid to say? Because the Russian war is a recent happening. What has been the capacity of our refinery to refine products? I mean, how much of it? All of these refineries from the inception or from when they were commissioned, they had, you know, a required capacity uh, that they should meet. Have they been meeting all of that? When we also talk about the issue of turnaround maintenance, how far have we fed? We're looking at best global practice now. Uh, when was the last time we had a turnaround maintenance uh, for our refinery? So, do, do you think that it's very logical that every other time we blame the Russian war that just happened some months ago on the fact the that we weren't able to, that, you know, yes, refine yes. our products in Nigeria and also juxtaposing that with the issue of, you know, pipeline vandalism? The, the Honorable Mr. Vardation has said the solution of the first countries, they don't have Solution. The solution they are looking at is for the inauguration of the Dangote refinery and of the first part of the economic coming for the end of the year. So before then, we still have to get the purpose of the year. We move from about 900, but the most for seven and fifteen thousand. All right, Illumide, if you can hear us, uh, um, you know, several stakeholders in the industry, um, aviation industry in Nigeria, have given some sort of advice to the federal government who runs the sector in the country, uh, are looking at solutions, and we want you to speak, uh, talk about solutions. Um, for instance, the aviation or airline operators of Nigeria, uh, sometime this this year, said you know the federal government should look at um, intervention over the issue of forex as a way of helping out the sector. I mean, looking at aviation fuel, you know, prices going above 900 naira per liter, edging to 1,000 naira per liter, and its impact on the cost of um, the airfares in the country, uh, its impact also on, on the Nigerian economy, with people not being able to move as they would like to move. So what, what do you think the solutions are? Uh, should the federal government intervene um, you know, in, in what way should they intervene? In, in terms of subsidies, is in terms of um, bailouts, is it in terms of uh, looking at how to solve a forex situation, you know, because that's another problem altogether, the forex scarcity, apart from the, the, the high cost of the product, the forex scarce, scarcity is also an issue. So what are the solutions, you know, in your opinion? All right, and I think, um, do we still have a Lumide Unaya uh, with us? All right, I think uh, we have lost uh, him uh, of course uh, uh we, we hope we would have had him for longer but we have to go we have to go. but these are the issues um hopefully uh sooner and later we'll have him back on the program uh to talk about this very important sector aviation uh, the aviation sector in the country we will have to take a break at this point uh when we return we have more on the breakfast right here on plus tv africa please stay with us